what's up guys all right so you guys saw my video about what happened how i just i wasn't allowed to go back to colombia they barred me from going to colombia so i had to come to lima and here i am in lima peru <laughs> doing a a one night layover i guess uh, I, I couldn't buy i couldn't buy a ticket directly to colombia i had to buy a ticket to lima and then from lima to colombia tomorrow so i'm staying here the night here's my airbnb it was literally a 10 minute walk from the airport there's the view very like a desert over here it's all and there's a this, when i got out of the airport this, there's a distinct smell it's it reminds me of when i used to go visit my uncles and my family that live in south texas that have ranches and farms with with animals like you know cattle horses goats that kind of stuff i, I go out of the, the airport and i got hit with that smell but i'm in the city of lima so it's interesting i guess i guess many people have uh like maybe chickens and stuff speaking of chickens when I arrived in the Airbnb, the, the, the lady who's very animated and fun, uh, she said, watch out, don't step on pew pew. Pew pew is a way to say uh, chicken or a little bird, little, little chick that goes pew pew, you know. I look down, there's a baby chicken walking around my feet. I almost killed it. But anyways, check it out. Here's my Airbnb. I'm going to be staying, uh, sharing a bathroom, I guess, with one other guest. There's four bedrooms over here on the terrace. I got the whole terrace to myself. Well, another dude's over here as well. And then my bedroom's right here. Very simple. Just a bed and a fan. That's all I need. Right now we're in, what, what month are we in? We're in June and the weather's nice, man. It's like, I would say 75 degrees, sunny. It's quite nice. Not like a... Uh, Curitiba where I was where it was raining and cold all the time because it's winter time over there but um yeah so I'm gonna take a shower get changed because I'm exhausted I've been traveling since really six six o'clock in the morning yesterday and I and it's 12 it's two o'clock in the afternoon today so I've been traveling since yesterday six o'clock in the morning overnight hardly slept so i'm gonna take a shower change and i think i'm gonna go into the city and try to find some to eat because lima peru or peru in general is known for the food so i'm gonna go try to get some to eat because i'm not that tired i did sleep off and on and then I'm gonna, look at this what the hell is this see that roof right there it's filled with bicycles oh it's a bike shop but they got the old bikes on top of the roof interesting i'm pretty sure I will see a lot of interesting, interesting things like that, for example, here in Lima, if I go walking around. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get an Uber, go in the city, find a place to eat, and just get to know the cities. I might come back to this place. If I have to leave Colombia again, I might come back here if I end up liking it. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think. Ciao, ciao. All right, guys, so I'm taking a bus here in Peru and Lima. I tried to get an Uber, but it was literally impossible. They kept canceling it. I ordered like, Six Ubers, they always canceled. So here I'm on a bus going to Miraflores to try to find a good restaurant. Figuring it out as I go. <laughs> but speaking Spanish is very important, man. It helps out a lot. There's the airport. I'm standing right next to the airport. I fly out tomorrow. Also check out the big people. I'm not that big and it's tiny. <laughs> Guys, that bus ride was a uh, bus ride from uh, H-E-L-L, -L, man. It was not comfortable, not comfortable at all. But we're in Miraflores right here. It's very nice. I think it's like the nicest area in uh, Lima. And I saw a little festival or something going on, like a fair or whatever. So I'm going to go check it out. And I'm going to try to find something to eat because I'm starving. Let's see this walk. But here is definitely a lot nicer than where I'm staying at by the airport for sure. And I'm only staying by the airport because I'm flying out tomorrow morning. I was kind of regretting doing this ride, but now that I'm here, it's okay. It's good. Hold on. And like I was saying, I was regretting making the ride out here because it took forever. It took over like almost an hour. And I've been traveling since uh, 6 o'clock in the morning yesterday. And right now it's, what is it, 4.30 in the afternoon? So I'm exhausted. But whatever. I get to check out Lima and then you guys can as well. And then I'm back to Colombia. Look at that. All right, so I was on the bus and I saw this here. Like a little fair going on. 
Yeah, very nice. It's a very nice area, man. Miraflores is very nice. Compared to the rest of the city, I, was, I noticed in the bus, this is the nicest I've seen so far. Let me know in the comments. Oh. Oh. Alright, so this is like designer stuff. This is not the typical flea market I know about. <laughs> the typical market where they're selling the very knockoff stuff. This is good stuff here. Oh, that's a cool jacket. I like that with the with the hoodie. That's cool. That's it. Very cool style, man. I like it. All right, so this little fair here is because tomorrow's uh, Father's Day here, and I guess there's having a fair to sell some stuff for dads. But check this out. And I spoke to someone that recommended me a restaurant called La Panchita, Panchita, which is that way. I want to walk this way first though, and now ask a few more people for recommendations. She said Panchita first, then Punta Azul if I wanted uh, seafood. So let me know if you, in the comments you guys know about these places. But I'll probably go with Panchita. So I'm not really a seafood guy. Yeah, very cool. There's Punta Azul right there. It looks looks fancy. Yeah. This is what you call chicha morado, morado, and it's made from purple corn, and it's absolutely delicious. You gotta try it when you come to Peru. It's delicious. Doesn't sound good, but it's good. <laughs> 